Activating intelligence within dementia involves engagement of the intellect rather than trying to pursue the restricted memory component of the mind. This breakthrough being psychological, not pharmaceutical, as I've written up in the two books, Residence Voice and Residence Rise. So with dementia, past memory component is often intact, present memory, recent memory, not so. But the intellect can be activated through positive thinking, reading, and group discussions. Also quizzes do very well with this. And with the work that I did, the re dementia residents really enjoyed the positive thinking. They found that was extremely helpful with reading. Some could read, not all. And group discussion, everyone liked to be involved because the group is motivating, it's insightful, it's interesting, and it gets everyone on board. Now with this work, when I first started out, the dementia unit that I worked at, when I first came to work, the dementia residents were very shut down, shut off, both from themselves and each other. And I really wondered what I could do. I actually tried everything. It took me a whole year of hard work, every aspect, every angle, every perspective. I tried the lot and nothing really seemed to be working. But at the end of that first year, I actually went to a play, Hamlet, a Hamlet play, a National Theatre movie, Benedict Cumberbatch as the lead. And I thought, that was a great, great movie, play. And I thought, I wonder if Hamlet being the, the Shakespearean play, all of us in New Zealand have studied it at school and this generation as well will have studied Hamlet and the famous quotes. I wonder if I put up some quotes on the whiteboard, whether the dementia residents will engage. So let's try and see. So I wrote up the three favourite quotes of Hamlet. Nothing is good or bad, but thinking makes it so. To be or not to be, that is the question. And to thine own self be true. So I said to the group, OK, this is an important workshop. I want you all to have an opinion on this. These are the three famous Hamlet quotes. You will have studied it at school, so I want you to go back into your past memory, think way back, and remember those Hamlet Shakespeare days and see if you can recognise the quote. If not, I'm going to read it out to all of you, and I want you to try and read it as I read out the quote, and then I'm going to say it out loud, and then I'm going to get you to vote on which quote you like the best. And after that, we're going to practice that quote for the rest of the year. So we had the little exercise, went through the process, and in the end, the quote that they liked the most was, nothing is good or bad, but thinking makes it so. And I said to them, so why is it that nothing is good or bad, but thinking makes it so, is so important? And they said, unanimously, they said, well, you've got to be positive to live here. Positive thinking's important. Ah, I thought, wow. So from there, I realised that these dementia residents had a working intellect. And so from then on, they conversed, they engaged, and we had topics all intellectually active, activating and underneath the umbrella of positive thinking. And really, all that needed to happen was to have the workshop set up, a good interesting topic, bringing in the enthusiasm, encouraging the residents and educating them. And this is what all this works about in the two books, as I've said, Residents Voice and Residents Rise, everything in the description below. Thank you for your views and your comments. Please subscribe.